Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to go over five Mac apps that you should check out for the month of January 2020. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Our first app on the list is called Sensei, and in a nutshell, it's a cleaner app for your Mac, but with a lot of other neat and useful features. If you're familiar with the popular Mac app Clean My Mac, then Sensei should feel pretty similar as it definitely has a pretty familiar look and feel. The left column provides you access to your dashboard, along with utilities for optimizing your machine, uninstalling apps and cleaning up unused files, as well as hardware monitor solutions for storage, graphics, battery, and cooling. Sensei can actually provide you with real-time health reports about your Mac's hardware, as well as benchmarks for read and write disk speeds for either your internal or external hard drives or SSDs. The app even offers SSD performance enhancement tools like Trim, which is designed to increase and enhance performance of your SSD by simply pressing one button and allowing Trim to work in the background. The thermal dashboard might give MacBook Pro users a bit more insight into how hot their machines might be running. And if you feel like something is not right with your machine's battery or charging capacity, you can monitor all of that inside of the same app. It's definitely worth checking out for those who not only want to clean up and save some space on their Mac, but also see performance reports in real time too. Next up is an app called Mouseless, and it's designed to help users learn all of the essential keyboard commands for programs so that you can use those programs without a mouse. There aren't a ton of apps to choose from right now, but a lot of them are probably ones that you're currently using, or maybe you're looking into learning them, like Photoshop and Sketch. There's also communication apps like Gmail and Slack, and there's even a section for some macOS keyboard shortcuts. Once you find the app you want to learn, the app will then show you a keyboard command. Then it will ask you to type in that command, and then eventually you'll get a quiz about all of the commands until you get it right. So the more you type those commands, in theory, the easier it should be to start memorizing them. You can learn just the essentials of the app or do a mega deep dive to learn every single keyboard shortcut that you can. The choice is up to you, and I definitely think it's worth checking out if you're going to be spending lots of time inside of some of these apps. Next up on our list is called Clue, and I like to think of it as Spotlight Search for my cloud services because that's pretty much what it is. Instead of using the Command Space keyboard shortcut to bring up Spotlight, Clue is actually Option Space, and up comes a very similar search box where you can now search for files across some connected platforms. Those platforms include Google Drive and Dropbox as some of the more commonly used larger platforms, but also GitHub, Figma, and even Slack will be coming soon. Once you've connected Clue to your services, just type in the search bar what you're looking for and those files will open up immediately once you select them. This should help you save some time and energy having to search through all of those files and those services that could be buried inside of a Google Drive folder. The fourth app on the list is called Gooba for Mac, and it's a very clean and simple notes app, but with a task manager built in, so everything is all in one place. The app is mostly free and offers a bunch of useful features that you could probably get away with only using the free version, but there are some extra useful features that in my opinion I really wanted to use, so I upgraded for just a one-time fee of only $3.99. The app allows you to obviously create folders for all of your notes, have infinite amount of notes and folders, and view them in a very organized manner alongside a very powerful search tool so that you can find exactly the note you're looking for from just a few simple keywords. The notes portion is very clean and minimal, supports markdown to make writing on your laptop, phone, and iPad easier than ever. Which also points to another fantastic feature, and that's having everything synced across all of your devices through one account. Notes can be pin protected, and as I mentioned earlier, there is a pretty simple yet powerful task manager built right in so that all of your important meeting notes and meeting reminders can be tied into just one simple app. Finally, our last app is called Clicker4. But I don't just wanna to touch on one specific app, but mostly all of the apps that are included for some of these streaming platforms. Clicker for Hulu is actually the latest app in the series, but there are also apps for Netflix, YouTube TV, and Disney+. The Clicker 4 lineup allows users to launch right from the dock, and it offers picture-in-picture -picture support, quick pausing, full-screen browsing, touch bar controls, and much, much more. 
Some of my favorite features include the ability to skip show intros automatically, prevent profile screens from always popping up, and much more. Other than that, the apps are simple browser-based versions of those streaming services, and it just works really well. While the Disney Plus version is free, the other apps will run you a one-time fee of $5, but it's still worth it in my opinion than having to go to your browser and navigate through those pages when all you have to do is click on the dock and there's some extra built-in features that you might not get inside of the browser version. So again, highly worth checking it out. And also in the comment section down below, feel free to leave us your favorite apps that you think we should check out and maybe we'll feature it in an upcoming video. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.